All right, here we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to tonight's episode of VBRA Knox Unmasked, where we're getting to know a little bit more about some of our members here at Knox. Uh, the rules are straightforward. We've got two contestants who each have a photo of themselves and a photo of their opponent. They'll be read a question and need to hold up the picture of whoever the question most relates to. We've got 15 questions to get through tonight, so let's meet our two contestants. Tonight, we have a pair of sisters going head to head in what we hope to be a classic stitch up battle. The Shelton sisters put the star in all stars. If this goes pear shaped and we end up with a family blue, sorry, Linda, it's Daniel's idea. <laughs> Our first contestant tonight is Emma. Being the eldest Shelton, she deserves to be named first, although for her ranking by height, she might have to wait a little. Up against Emma is his younger sister, Sarah. Sarah is scared of nothing, certainly not her older sister, unless her older sister was holding a spider, in which case she probably wouldn't be sitting right there right now. So let's put your hands together, smash that like button for the Sheltons. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining us. Emma oh, and Sarah. Oh, good. Ready? Happy to be here. <laughs> but are you sure you're ready for this? Hope yeah. so. Think so. Yep. All right. Here we go. Number one, who is most ready for basketball to come back? That would be a Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bear. You're missing it that much? Missing it so bad. <laughs> Absolutely. I think we're all in that same boat. I'm even missing doing rostering. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. You don't really say that so often. All right. <laughs> Number two, who gets yelled at at home for making the most mess? <laughs> Sarah, two from two. Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Number three, who is most likely to become Prime Minister? Ooh. <laughs> that was straight to it. Whack. I like it. Very good. Uh, number four, who is most likely to lose their phone at a party? <laughs> wow, you guys are in sync. I like this. Yeah, Beautiful. Sarah lost a Catman do jacket at a party once, which you know, yeah. what Mum wasn't too happy about. No, I can't even do that. And there isn't an app for find my Catman do jacket. No, no. never been seen again. Yeah. We'll, we'll need to speak to Catman do about that. Yeah, I reckon. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. So number five. Now, I'm I'm thinking we might get a little bit of different answers here. Number five. Who is the better referee? Oh, Ooh. thank you. That's so cool. Oh, feel the love. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Number six, who is most likely to get a block charge situation? Correct. Yeah, okay. Well, the data aligns. The data says the better referee is going to get the call right. Uh, That's what we want to hear. All right. Number seven. Who is most likely to forget their whistle? <laughs> now, why did you have to think know. about that one so hard? Well, I don't know. forgetting it would probably be me, but breaking their whistle would be Emma. Ah, yeah. makes sense. I don't know. I had a dream about forgetting my whistle once, so that just came back to me in the moment then. <laughs> oh, so is that what that book was? That I was like, oh, I remember something, but it was only a dream, so I'm good. Uh, very good. All right, number eight. Who is most likely to trip over their own feet on court? <laughs> <laughs> and the sub question, Sarah, have you done that before whilst refereeing? Not yet. Touch wood. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of time to do so, though. <laughs> Look, I hope we're back out there falling over soon. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Question nine. Who is most likely to do something weird in public? <laughs> oh, I love it. Are you, are, you, are you sure you two are actually sitting in different rooms? Yeah. Absolutely. Literally opposite ends of the house. <laughs> No, that's good. That's good. Uh, all right. Number 10. Who is most likely who is most likely to queue up behind a mannequin 
at a store and not realise. <laughs> that was nice and quick. He's <laughs> question. I feel really targeted. Sorry, Sarah, what was that? I feel really targeted. <laughs> hey, I, have you done this before? No. Well, then how, how can it be targeted? I, I don't know. know that that was <laughs> That's all right. All right. Number 11. Who is most likely to binge watch an entire Netflix series? Oh, <laughs> Like Sarah was very quick on that. Emma, you, you're not so sure? I don't know, because Sarah does a bit, but I literally finished Game of Thrones in like a month during isolation, so I feel like that's an indicator. That definitely <laughs> wins. If you're going to binge something, that's, that's the way to go. Yeah. All right, number 12. Who is most likely to open the fridge and just stare into it? <laughs> You're ooh, joking. Ooh. No, because you'd stare at it, but I'd actually stare at it and then get food. Like, I don't need do to be empty handed. <laughs> what? Would you you have the control to shut the fridge. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're really getting into the what this question means. Wow. That's some depth <laughs> there in your thinking. We've, we've hit a nerve there. Eh? Wow. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Number 13. Who would go insane first if the internet was disconnected for a week? All right. Boom. Done. Yep. <laughs> Understandable. Number 14. Who is most likely to forget to bring a mask with them when they leave the house? I she did, did that today. today. You did it today? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. No, I got halfway down the street and realised. <laughs> That's the worst. Because then you've got to sort of turn around, do that walk of shame back and just, oh. Uh... Yeah. It was just awkward. <laughs> That's all right. You'll learn your lesson though. It's okay. Uh, all right. Number 15. Who is mum's favourite? <laughs> Sarah, you were straight onto that, but Emma had to think about it for a little while. Why? What were you thinking in that, Emma? I don't know. Sarah's a bit of a suck up, so I feel like that's why. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> I can't argue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. All right. Well, that's our fifteen questions done. Emma and Sarah, thank you. It's been good fun. Thank um, you. Before we um, before we call a night, is there anything that you you would like to to say to the members who hopefully haven't got bored and switched off yet? <laughs> um, I don't really have anything to be honest. Not really, Sarah. Unless you inspire me to say something, what have you got to say? Um, just keep at it. Like it's tough for everyone, but we've made it through the worst. Hopefully, so. Just keep your head up and we'll get through it. Absolutely. No, wise words, wise words. All right, girls, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Cool. Thanks, Thanks so much.